Hello, my spicy friends. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Brutal Swing uh, Conk Elder. Yeah. Now, uh, I was hoping to make this video yesterday. Uh, that was that was a plan, you know, playing my community day like everyone else. Come back home, record uh, my video, and uh, post it YouTube. But unfortunately, um, I was out of sets for Go Battle League that day. Uh, probably should have timed it better, but uh, yeah, I was out of sets, couldn't do it. So as soon as midnight rolled around, I pulled out my phone, played a uh, set of Go Battle League, and decided I wanted to um, do my best with Conk Elder. And I got a 3-2 on this set, which I feel like is satisfactory when it comes to showing you everything Conk Elder can do. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, Conk Elder, let's talk about it. It is um, definitely comparable to Machamp. You know, it's a similar stat spread. Both of them are fighting types with move counter. Uh, pretty good fighting charge moves. And some coverage options. Now, uh, this is um, this community day is significant because not only does it give Kong Kelder a charge move, um, which is actually pretty good for it in Great League, being brutal swing. This is also the first time I believe that Kong Kelder has ever been available in the Great League at all. Check this out. Yeah, look look at this. Kong Kelder does an insane amount of damage with Dynamic Punch. Uh, don't want to. I don't want to interrupt what I was saying, but just look at this. Wow, that is a lot. But uh, yeah, so this is the first time Kong Kelder has ever been available in the Great League. Man, my opponent is actually pretty spicy today. Nice. Um, and generally, my thoughts on it are it is a pretty hard to use Pokemon. It definitely has potential. Uh, fighting and Dark are... Fighting in Dark is fantastic coverage, like right off the bat. That is that that much is true. Um, it gets walled by fairy types, of course, but other than that, pretty 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 strong showing there. Um, and my only complaints with Conkelder is that it's a bit too slow for the current fast-paced Great League meta. Um, generally, in a lot of neutral situations, if it doesn't kill with its really strong moves, it will probably just get outpaced and die to something. Because Conk Elder is pretty frail, at least in the Great League. In Master League or whatever, it's probably it's probably pretty good, I think. I think it is. I don't really know much about Master League. I, I mean, I know some things, of course, but I don't play it as much. I think Conk Elder is doing all right up there. Um, but yeah, Great League-wise, I think this is one of the better teams you could build around Conk Elder if you really wanted to run it. Um, the, the way the team is set up is that Azumarill handles Metacham leads and Registeel is just kind of a good Pokemon for an Azumarill Registeel core going on there. And Kong Kelder is kind of just a decent safe swap and kind of also does a job of baiting out Metacham. At least, uh, if I made myself clear, I might not have. Basically, it all kind of meshes together in that way. And, um... Just one thing that's very important about this team is that it handles Metacham leads. Metacham leads are super common lately, which uh, should not be much of a surprise, despite the nerf. Metacham is still probably one of the best Pokemon in all of Great League. Uh, not much to say there. If your team loses a Metacham lead uh, or gets core broken by Metacham lead, it is probably a bad team. So that was the way I tried to play around it a little bit. Um, what else was I going to say? I, I know I had something in mind. Um, <laughs> I guess, uh, Kong Kelder hits pretty damn hard. I elaborated on that already, but, uh, yeah, very frail too. So my plan here, uh, my opponent, I know they've built up uh, back-to-back mud bombs. So I'm going to shield this first one and then immediately try to catch on Azumarill. Uh, that's another important reason why I have Kong Kelder paired with Azumarill and Regiseal, is that they are both a very, very tanky. You also could probably run Galarian Stunfisk as a uh, back line for this team. Uh, people have de definitely been sleeping on Galarian Stunfisk in this season. Uh, I have barely seen it, 
or at least not as much as I usually would, which is uh, kind of, it's a little surprising, not really because of their earthquake nerf, but it's still a very good Pokemon. Don't, don't underestimate it. Uh, now in this matchup, I'm not doing so hot. My general plan here, since my opponent's wish cache is loaded on energy, I want to leave this, um, I want to leave this matchup with a second Brutal Swing, which isn't too hard. Regiseal does charge decently fast, but luckily Conkelder also charges decently fast. So um, we are able to cleanly build up to a Brutal Swing here to defeat the Regiseal, and then also immediately tap on it to beat this Wishgash. Um, it's not even Stab, but it does quite a good amount of damage to Wishgash, knocks it out. And that is a uh, that was a close game, but we just barely managed to sneak out a win with Kong Kelder because Kong Kelder is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Which 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 game is this again? This is a uh, Azumarill Mirror. Not great. Um, I think I decided to play this out and see if they've got uh, play rough. Because if not, you know. Azumarill tanks, Ice Beams, and Hydro Pumps really, really well, so play rough is the uh, just, just the way to go here. I was considering, at this point, trying to catch a play rough on Registeel. I wanted to get their health down low enough, at least it clones Azumarill, that a Conkelder Dynamic Punch would be enough to threaten them. You will see this later in the video. Uh, Conkelder's Dynamic Punch, even though it's resisted in Azumarill's Bulky, still does a pretty impressive amount of damage. So, uh, you know, we, we want to get to a point where Conkelder Dynamic Punch can chip it and knock it out. Uh, so yeah, it's going to go for another play rough here. Um, I'm not really sure how to play this. I mean, w when you're a win con, or at least your strategy is centered around catching, it's not really a good sign. Uh, but they opt to go for Sableye instead, which uh, I am fine with this. Uh, if they shield, I'm just going to go for Kong Kelder and try to farm down, or at least do much damage to them. Uh, they're going to throw out a foul play right here, which is... Uh, I'm going to try to shield this. I might... You know, Kong Kelder can tank up one foul play, and that's about it. As long as they're doing something back to Sableye here. And this Brutal Swing will do a pretty good amount of chip to Sableye. Enough that we can kind of just dynamic punch down. But I do want... I don't want to be in a uh, negative shield situation here. So I'm going to let the foul play. Hit Conk Elder. Does like a good 30-40%. And we're just going to barely farm down. And so now I'm just going to throw out Dynamic Punch or whatever comes out next. I'm predicting they bring in Azumarill, and I am correct. That's fine. Um, we're going to do a pretty alright-ish amount here. It does not knock out, but that's fine. We're going to bring in Registeel and lock on down, because I know this Azumarill cannot reach a Hydro Pump from here. I don't even think they have Hydro Pump. I assume it's Ice Beam. Uh, and yeah, they, they are running Ice Beam, which means we can just farm down. Now, this is pretty bad. Uh, here's where I fuck up. I make a mistake trying to catch. <laughs> yeah, um, they, they know my wincon here is catching, so I, <laughs> yeah, I kind of messed up. Not really much to say here. I think at this point I realized that, yeah, just, just gotta catch, man. This is, this is rough. <sighs> I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I can't even reach a foul a, uh, play rough here on the alone mirror. <laughs> Man, imagine a zoom real foul play. No, no, uh, we are we are just gonna die. I was thinking, I was wondering, are they gonna build up to like a fire blast or even a spicy flame wheel? But no, no, the shadow bone is enough to do the job, which is which is just fine. Anything would have killed there. I think even Bone Club would have done the job, and Bone Club is pretty bad. Uh, okay. Next matchup, Swampert. This is alright. If they don't have Sludge Wave, we are okay-ish. 
And even if they do have Sludge Wave, even if the Swampert does have Sludge Wave, I'm pretty sure we can tank one. Uh, so I'm going to go for just a play rough here. If they get a little overconfident with farming. I'm pretty sure even a Sludge Wave does not take that many mud shots. So we are able to get to a free play rough. And in this matchup, even if they did Sludge Wave and just knock us out completely here, I wouldn't be too upset because I would just bring in Conk Helder and uh, farm down and then have a crazy amount of energy for whatever is in the back. Conk Helder of energy is a menace. A uh, really good Pokemon. <laughs> it becomes amazing when you have a bunch of energy on it. Um, you know, of course, they have a fairy in the back. You're kind of just fucked, but... Uh, Oh, here to bring in Frostlass, I uh, decide that I'm just going to go for Play Rough, and then bring in Conk Helder, and uh, it's kind of counter all the way down. But unfortunately, I overestimate Conk Helder's counter damage a little bit. It's not going to be enough, even though they throw the Shadow Ball here. I don't think it would have been enough to farm Frostlass down all the way here. So that means our only real option here is to just try to CMP, or at least get close, because I don't know who wins CMP here, and I don't feel like testing that. We, uh, we land the Brutal Swing, and that's alright. Let's see what they've got in the back here. I, uh... <laughs> I think they're gonna bring in... Oh, they bring in uh, Charizard, that's really bad. Yeah, this is basically how we insta-lose. Uh, we get Core Broken kinda hard here. I was, um, so I make a bit of a misplay later in the match, after we get wing attack down. I would assume they would go for at least one more wing attack to try to throw me off, but unfortunately they don't do that. They just go immediately for the blast burn. <laughs> I probably should have brought in the zoom rail here, um, if I knew they are going to do that. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty, but I'm just kind of impressed that uh, Registeel can live that. Like, that is a really strong... Shadow Charizard Blast Burn is uh, pretty ridiculous damage-wise. So I am impressed Regiseal uh, survived that, if barely. So if uh, memory serves, this is the last match of my set. A pretty intense ending here. It's pretty cool. So we lead Azumarill into Alolan Sandslash. We have two counters for it in the back, so I'm going to bring out Regiseal. And see what their plan is. They're going to bring in Medicham, which is, uh... Actually, this is all right. We kind of want to see Medicham here. I, I think Registeel, despite being weak, still is probably better against Medicham than, um, <laughs> Conk Helder is. It's because Conk Helder's counters do nothing to Medicham, and, you know, um... Conk Helder is just so much frailer. It wins just because it has so much lower stat product in Great League. Now, uh, luckily, my opponent does not seem to be interested in throwing Psychics against my Registeel. I assume they were attempting to bait or something, but uh, this is fine. This is fine. We're going to go for the Zap Cannon here. And uh, just kind of bolt Metagym. Or get a shield. Either is fine. You know, Metagym with lowered attack... And a shield. With if shield is advantage, that's like a, an Azumarill's dream right there. Now, luckily, uh, this is pretty much what I was hoping for, and we managed to pull it off. We successfully align Conk Helder against the Alolan Sandslash here, um, and they're gonna bring in their own Azumarill. So my plan here was to try to catch a, just get a bunch of energy on Conk Helder, and then catch a play rough on my own Azumarill. But mm, I'm not super sure what their plan was. I believe they're trying to bait. Um, and either way, you know what? I catch on my own Azumarill. This is a pretty good situation to be in. It's not perfect since our switch timer is unaligned. And they're going to bring in a low and sand slash against me later. And, you know, they're going to bring in a low and sand slash. And I really wanted to bring in the fighter with a double super effective move against it. Uh, we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna kind of have to deal with that. And play rough lands, does quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna fire off our own play rough. Yeah, this part is not super exciting. I know I said that it was gonna, there, there's gonna be some cool battles. And trust me, the ending here is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, this is just kind of average Azumarill gameplay right here. 
Uh, I was hoping to stall the switch timer a little bit to realign Cog Kelder. And uh, unfortunately, I don't quite get that right now. I decided to shield the drill run because I know that move will deal more damage to Azumarill than anything my opponent can throw at me. Even another play rough, I'm pretty sure a lowland sand slash is drill run is something I gotta fear more. So luckily I do manage to snipe with Kong Kelder. And normally you would not want to align a uh, Kong Kelder against an Azumarill, especially not for shield disadvantage. But uh, it turns out that this is actually the optimal play. Because, uh, yeah, check this out. Kong Kelder's dynamic punch does enough damage that we're actually gonna win by farming down this Azumarill. This is really close. Uh, of course, they're going to go for the play rough and knock us out. That is fine. We are just going to pray that we can tank whatever this zoom reel throws at us. Uh, I think they're going to go directly for a play rough here, which is uh, fine. Yeah, we are just barely going to tank this. Yeah, that's close. All right, we're just going to bubble down. Just bubble down real quick. All right, uh, one more bubble when they reach another charge move. And oh, oh nice. Just barely clutching the win there. Thanks for watching this Kong Kelder gameplay, my spicy friends. And remember, stay spicy.